Hi, Recovery Girls. It's Chanel, and I am coming to you with some thoughts about humility, pride, um, its opposite, and gentleness. And I'm thinking about humility, pride, and gentleness because um, I recently had to end a relationship um, because it was the wise thing for me to do. And over the course of the relationship, I made some choices um, to keep some things from my inner circle that I usually wouldn't um, keep from my inner circle. Um, so I made an agreement to keep some things private, so to speak. And what I found is that privacy actually is part of addictive thinking that I wouldn't bring something to my community. Um, so... I eventually saw the, the flaw in that way of thinking and keeping things private from my inner circle felt horrible. It felt like having an awful flu in my tummy that I just couldn't get out. Um, you know, sometimes when you're really sick and then you just get it all out and you feel better, that's exactly what it felt like. Like I was sick, but I wasn't getting it out. I finally just decided to let it all out. Um, and there were consequences, um, just, you know, probably some hurt feelings, um, because I, I wasn't as open, um, about the situation. Now, the thing about it is, it wasn't that the situation was wrong. It wasn't a moral thing, but the fact that I didn't want to share it at the, at the time that I normally would have is an indicator that maybe something is a little bit off. Now, hindsight is twenty twenty, but I didn't quite see it that way initially. Um, thankfully, I have very supportive and loving friends who um, give me grace, and so my relationships are intact, and I'm thankful for that. But what this has taught me is something about my pride. I suppose one of the reasons why it's been kind of difficult um, and kind of recovering from the situation is I suppose I thought that I would have no addictive thinking because I'm in recovery. Um, the pridefulness that, oh, you know, I'm definitely making healthier choices overall for myself and I'm making wiser choices. But um, I suppose I thought I would be immune Um and that that from you know selecting the wrong individual or maybe be immune from making choices that are reflective of where I've come from um, or even thinking about it but I'm not immune from that you know and so now I'm growing in my humility to know that I need God and I need a recovery community I need accountability. I need someone to uh, bounce things off of because left to my own devices, I might slip back into some addictive thinking. Um, and I don't want to be that way. And now with all that being said, I'm also trying to practice some gentleness and compassion with myself to not be so hard on myself. After all, I am human and I definitely in need of a savior. I'm so thankful um, for Jesus um, doing what he did so that I can have a relationship with God and through that relationship um, and re community and recovery and the 12 steps, I can see transformation. Um, and so I'm thankful for that. And so today with newfound humility, I can practice gentleness and um, kindness and compassion with myself um, and that will help me heal and grow on my recovery journey for today um, ladies remember that god is wild about you and he longs to overshadow you in his goodness all you have to do is let go and let god i've let go ladies what about you